Hey guys, welcome to chapter five, lesson 14, computing the cost of repairs of buying and maintaining a car. Um, this is the last section before the review portion. So when you own a vehicle, they don't last forever. Things happen, things break. And if you can't do it yourself, or know somebody can do it for you if you buy the part on Amazon or something, then it's gonna probably cost you a little bit more. Actually, I know it'll cost you a little bit more. So the way you compute that is depending on their label, labor rate. So in exercise A, it says, find the total cost of each repair job. Use $60 per hour as the labor rate. Include 5% tax on the parts. So it's tax on the parts, not on the labor. So for number one, the battery. Okay, battery is $69.95. So $69.95. And you're going to multiply that by the tax, which is 5% in this case. So multiply that by 1.05. And you're going to get $73. And we're going to round it to $0.45. Cents. So that one is $73.45. Cents. But the labor to put in a battery is 0.3 of an hour. So it's gonna you're gonna multiply 0.3 times the 60. So that's how much you're paying the guy to put the battery in, $18. And you're gonna take these two numbers and add them. So add that to $73.45. And your total cost is gonna be $91.45. Okay, let's do another one. Here's the parts you're gonna need, a muffler, a tailpipe, and clamps. And it's gonna cost you uh, um, one hour of labor. So we know one times 60 is just 60. And we add these up, it's 35 plus 18 plus two. Multiply that by 1.05 because of the tax. So this is gonna be 57.75. Add those two up, and you find that it's going to cost you $117.75 to repair that part of the car. Okay, the next part, go on, and move on to the repairing the car price here. You're going to fill this in and find out how much it's going to cost you. So, it says Let's see how many examples we got. We only got the one example. So since we only got the one question here, guys, I want you to try to do this on your own about how much the parts and the price are going to cost. And follow the example up here. Um, if you read through it, it's not going to be that bad. If you have any questions, just let me know.